Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahawashai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. I would like to also give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect, unto the men, the servants, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine scattered throughout the four winds of the world. Unto you I say shalom. World war is imminent. All right, in this lifetime, all right, that third woe, that third world, third world war is coming, and it's coming soon. And it's nothing that you can do about it. You can't hide from it. You can't. Uh, um, it's nothing you nothing you can do. Nothing, nothing these other nations can do either. Okay, these nations that because everyone wants to stay status quo, as far as you know, world war goes. In America, of course, they still want to be dominant, but at the end of the day, they don't want to really in, enter into this war because they know. This is the war that they're going to lose. All right. They're going to fight. All right. They're going to fight to win this war and, and um, you know, remain a, a dominant force within the world. But Yahweh Bashim Shah got something else coming. And the Lord wants this war to happen. All right. The Lord, he, he, hey, the scriptures say, um, let me grab it real quick. Is that um, Exodus uh, 15? Uh, Exodus, Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. All right, and this is when the uh, the Israelites, you know, were um, crossing the um, the uh, Suez Canal Red Sea, and though and after they crossed the uh, those waves came down on these Egyptians. Hey, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord showed it there, and He's going to show it in these times. But it's going it, to it's it's all prophecy. All right, so everything has a, a time and a place, and we're coming to that time where these prophecies are beginning to to you know they're jumping off the page. All right, where you have major conflicts between these major nations, these major uh, 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 military nations, powerhouse nations. All right, China, Ukraine, not excuse me, China, Russia. All right, uh, um, North Korea, South Korea. You could even throw Japan in there because the, North Korea is testing those missiles over Japan. Okay, of course, like I said, the North Korea, I mean, excuse me, the uh, Ukraine and um, Russian conflict. All right, and... and what these nations are going to realize, the common denominator in all of it is America, all right? And these nations are going to eventually turn their back on America because they're going to see that America is the problem, all right? America's over there fighting that, pro I mean, Russia, Ukraine's fighting that proxy war for America, all right? Um, um, South Korea and North Korea are at, at odds because of who? America, all right? They're the same people. Okay, it's no different between the South Korean and South Korean and the North Korean. They they all Moabites and Ammonites. Okay, look at uh, China and Taiwan. Who's the who's the who's the, the the who's basically keeping China from really going at Taiwan hard? America. Okay, but this world this world's war is going to happen, and the Lord is 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 turning things up. Okay, you, and you you're seeing that on, on a low level right now, but second place is a lot of these nations are going to get to the, to the point in overturn where they can't go back. All right. They are, they, they, they pushed all their chips in. All right. They, they, they too deep in this for them to turn back and, and, and submit. All right. And, and that's the point where we're getting to a Russia. All right. Just a week ago, they blew up that, um, that bridge in Crimea and Russia. Hey, they, they, they retaliated. Okay. And you, of course, the news is CNN, the CN, CNBCs, the NBCs, all these news stations are controlling the narrative in that war. But they'll let you know that <coughs> or they'll make you to believe that Ukraine is getting their ass whooped. Excuse me, that Russia is getting their ass whooped. And, you know, everything is everything is going sideways for Russia. Little do they know the most high is on Russia's side. All right. The, the most high is, 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 is a hey, Russia can't fail because Russia plays a major part in prophecy. So we know that the, the, the these nations, as bad as it seems, they still hey, the Russia has that that great new equalizer, which is that ICBM missile. All right, so they ain't they they the Russia is not going to be defeated until Yahweh Shai comes back and puts those crowns and takes the crowns off all these leaders of the world and puts them on his head, meaning he's going to be the one to take out these these armies. All right, so I just brought out some headlines. Um, you know, from the from the news or for the war that's going on over there, and it's the same old shit. You know, I, but but Russia, at that that them blowing up that bridge on the crime uh, over um, towards Crimea, 
that really got under. Uh, I, I don't. I won't say this, but just speaking as a man, I think that got under um, Putin's uh, uh, skin a little bit. So he's not. He, he's not uh, holding back anymore. Okay, um, and he and and things are going to intensify over there, where eventually someone's going to have to come to the aid of, aid of Ukraine, and then that's going to escalate into a a, a larger war. All right, where you're going to have NATO, the EU, okay, and, and, and against Russia. All right, but Russia is, you know, they have allies also. All right, Iran and mainly China. All right, so all these nations are going to be at odds with each other. All right, and, and the, like I said, the Lord is doing this. The Lord wants this war to happen. All right, this is the book of Ezekiel chapter uh, 38 and uh, verse 4. I will turn thee and put hooks in thy jaws. I will bring... I will will bring thee forth and all thy and all thy army horses and horsemen all them clothed with with all sort of armor even a great company of bucklers and shields all of them handing handling swords Persians Ethiopians and Libyans with them all them with shield and helmet Gomer and all his bands in the house of Togoma of the north quarters and all his band and many people with thee. So this is actually, damn, I should have started up at uh, the top of the verse where it tells you who, who you know who's part of the prophecy, which is Gog and Magog, and Gog and Magog represent um, Russia in, in, in the prophetic scriptures. All right, because those those Gog and Magog are the lands where the uh, so-called Russians dwell today. Okay, and, and Russia is a major part of prophecy. Okay, but the Lord, the main point is verse four, where it's the where the um, scripture says the Lord is going to put hooks in thy jaws, or right? meaning he's even if these nations don't want to get in this war, the Lord is going to make you get in this war, or right? everything is according to His will. Okay, the Lord is going to gather all these nations to come against America eventually. All right, the, you have to understand the Lord is in ultimate control, and we just, this is just a movie, this is just a chessboard, and and, and we're the uh, and, you know these major nations really. Are the, are the chess pieces where the Lord is just, you know, strategically moving things according to his will to happen according to prophecy because the Lord is a man of his word. All right. Um, I'm going to get Joel because that, um, let me see, I can start at, uh, at Joel 3 and I'm going to start at uh, verse 1. The nation, I'm going to start at the title, the nations will be judged. And this is how the nation is going to be judged. All right. The Lord is going to, Lord, man, is easy for the Lord to take these nations out because he can make them fight against each other to do the, to the, you know, deplete their numbers. But this is going to be a great war. It's going to be great death. All right. That's what people don't realize. It's going to be the most bloodiest war you, you, you ever seen. And it's going to, and, and, and you know, it's not just foot soldiers and it ain't really going to be a lot of hand to hand combat. It's going to be a lot of drones. All right. And, and, and to end this world, this, this war, the, all these nations are going to shoot those ICBM missiles on, on this place, America, Babylon the Great. All right, so let me start with this verse. It's uh, Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days, at that time, when I shall bring again the captivity in Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all nations, and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, the Most High's judgment. And that's that Levant area from hell. It's basically the whole mis m Middle East. All right, from, 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 from Egypt all the way up to you know, around Turkey to all the way to Saudi Arabia, all that's the Levant. All right, that's the Valley of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat where the Lord is going to um, was going to say. And I will plead with them for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So the Lord is bringing all these nations, all these nations that had a, a, a hand in our captivity. The Lord is going to bring them there to plead with them, and the plead means judge. It ain't like the Lord is going to go over there and beg these nations, please. Let these let the Israelites go, and you know we everything go back to how it was. No, the Lord is going to judge these nations, all right, for, for their iniquities, for their wickedness uh, that they've done against you know the, the Israelites, the apple of His eye, all right. And, and you know um, the main one, you know the the the, uh, the main enemy of um, the Lord is Esau, Edom, all right. Verse three, and they have cast lots for my people. They have given a boy for a harlot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so the girl for wine that they may drink. All right, let me jump down to um, um, verse, nine, verse 9. Proclaim ye among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, 
Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. And that's what you see taking place. You see these nations, they're, uh, they're, 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 they're preparing themselves, preparing themselves, their nation and their people for war. Okay. These nations over here, even though you may not hear it in the mainstream media, they're running drills every day in case of a uh, nuclear attack. Okay, to get to bunkers or, or, or to get, you know, high for cover. All right, the government ain't telling you that. They put some old BS, PSA, um, uh, 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 how to survive a nuclear attack in New York City. And it was, it was just, if you if you know anything about anything, that's just a slap in your face. You're not surviving. No one's going to survive here on the land, on, on, on this landmass, America. All right, when those, when those missiles begin to shot. Only one that's going to survive is those... Those men and the women, the one third and the 144,000 that are redeemed and saved out of this place before the destruction. All right, verse 11 Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down. Let the heathen be wakened and, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, where they will sit and where they will, it's like it, for they. Will I sit to judge all the heathen round about? Put ye the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full and the fats overflow. <coughs> for their wickedness is great. For all the wickedness that the, that these nations have done, mainly Esau, Edom, but the Lord is going to judge them. All right? And, and, and no one's going to survive over there in that area either, in, in the Levant, in the, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. All right, Yahweh's judgment. That's what the Lord is going to judge these nations. It's going to be a lot of bloodshed over there. Okay, that hey, this whole world got to be cleansed, but America is going to be completely wiped off the, the face of the earth for their for their wickedness. And that land over there in Israel, that got to be burned out and cleansed with that uh, with that fire. With that that, but over in Israel, it's going to be uh, rebuilt. Okay, um, so hey, this this war is going to take place. All right, the people think that. You know, um, you know, all this talk of war and potential war. A lot of these people have never been, you know, I guess you could say Afghanistan. That really wasn't no real war. All right. The last real war that I recall was Desert Storm, where, you know, um, they went over to war. Was it Baghdad, Iraq, I Iran or Iraq or whatever? You know, the whole thing was Saddam Hussein. That was the last war, you know, where American soldiers were really over there, you know, had to do something. But this war, this war. It, it, it's, it's going to be completely different because it's going to it's going to be the magnitude of this war and pretty much what's at stake. It's like a big poker game when you got all the nations and you know um, they, they you you know the shit going to be it's going to be intense. All these nations are bringing out their best best men, uh, 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 best jets, best best everything because they all think they have a chance. They all think that you know once I get uh, uh, America out of the way. Once I get Russia out of the way, then I can rule. Then, then, then you know, I'll be number one. That's what China's thinking, and we don't think that Russia's not thinking the same thing. All right, but eventually, all these nations that I'm speaking of are going to turn on America. It, it says in the scriptures, Edom will be humbled. All right, this is uh, the point is uh, verse seven. <coughs> all the men of thy confederacy have bought thee, even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have received thee. And prevail against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is no understanding in them. In him, all right. So all the men of the confederate. I'm gonna read this in the uh, the uh, NLT. All your allies will turn on you. They will help to chase you from the land. They will they will promise you peace while plotting to deceive and destroy you. You trust your trusted friends will set traps for you, and you will and you won't even know about it. All right, so that's what these nations are going to do. These nations are pretty much setting a trap for Esau for America right now, and they don't even know it. They have no clue. All right, who knows? You know, what if South Korea, North Korea, have been playing America all along? Or like the brother brought up, you know, this is just us speaking as men that, hell, maybe uh, uh, um, Ukraine and Russia are on the same side. You know, who knows how the most High is going to do this, but these nations will turn on America. Okay, and, and like I said, like they won't even know. They, they they're they're going to be America's done so much dirt and stabbing people in the back. It's about time for these nations to stab their ass in the back. Don't think Japan ain't forgot about Nagasaki and Hiroshima. All right, so America got a lot of dirt, you know, um, that that, that these nations are haven't forgot about. All right, um, 
damn, what I want to get? Uh, um, oh, I want to grab this in Ezekiel because our people mainly, all right, and these optimistic ass, weak ass American people here in general, they think that this war is is, is something. If it's prophetic, it's not going to happen for hundreds of years. That you know, uh, uh, America is going to last and. It, but mainly our people, man. They, when you talk about World War, they, they, they not their minds aren't thinking about a, 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 a global conflict on, on on this stage. They 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 think that this the things we speak of are, are just a far off. That we're just you know that they'll be dead and gone by the time this happens. These things are happening right now. This shit could pop off next year. Okay, this is Ezekiel chapter twenty seven. Excuse me, chapter twelve and twenty seven. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say. The vision that he see it is for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. That's what our people think. That the things that we speak of, the the the, the, the MOTB, that's far off, right? World War if, if World War Three is far off too, right? That's that's what that's what our people would essentially say or or think. That's their thought. We talk about World War Three, like oh okay, man. Like no, we'd be like nigga, this is happening. Okay, you need to wake up for your ass get drafted for you know. Hey, it's too late, okay? It's too, too, you know, Jake want to figure it out, but when the damn missile's about to hit their ass, all right? We'll be, you know, uh, verse 28, Therefore say unto them, Thus they have the Lord power, there, sh there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but that which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord. And the Lord is not prolonging his words anymore, all right? Th these things are coming to pass, and war plays a major part in that, all right? When, when you had kingdoms, you had the Assyrians, you had the, you know, the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the, uh, 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 the Babylonians, the, the Persians, the Medes, the, the Grecians, all those tra different transitions, there was bloodshed because it was a change of power. So how much more this? All right. When you're changing from the most wicked time on earth, all right, the most wicked era, all right, uh, uh, into the kingdom of heaven where righteousness is going to dwell forever. So you know it got to be bloodshed. It got to be, you know, it's going to be some shaking up. It ain't going to be like when uh, 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 the president leave the White House, uh, old president, you know, Obama left the White House and Trump came in the White House. It ain't going to be like an easy transition. No, it's going to be, it's going, some shit's going to go down. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, I think I quoted this earlier. Yeah. Uh, Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly, and woe represents destruction, all right? And, and you know, World War II was, you know, it, it shook the world up, but World War III is, is, is going to have, a, a, it's literally going to have a lasting effect, because these nations are going to be brought down low, mainly Esau, Edom, all right? And, and Yashar Allah is going to be, you know, go straight to the top, all right? Um, let me grab this real quick. This is 2nd Ezra is chapter uh, 6. And um, I'm going to start at verse 6. No, no, no. Um, verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? And when shall the end of the first, end of the first and the beginning of, the, of it that followeth? And he said unto me, For Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. If you know the story about Jacob and Esau, you clearly know who Jacob is and who Esau represents. Jacob represents 12 tribes of Israel, okay, whose name was later changed to Israel, all right, and Esau represents the so-called white man, all right. So, hey, there, the, hey, it was going to say, I'm, I'm, a, I'm jumping the gun. Verse 9, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And the word world means ions in the Greek, it, 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 and it means era, an age. So Esau is the end of an age, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So during that transition, shit, hey, shit's going to hey, hey, shit going, go, going to go, um, all, all, you know, it's going to go sideways, left for Esau, but for Jacob, everything is going to come, you know, come to fruition. All right, the elect is going to be sealed, the governing body, the 144,000, and the one-third, all right? And that's going to be the beginning. They really, the elect is the beginning uh, 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 of the new world, of the new ions, all right? That's what, hey, that's the men of the Lord. That's what we're looking forward to. That's what we, 
You know, that that's where we're, uh, um, you know, pushing for and enduring. OK, but a war, world war is imminent. All right. You, you know, you can you can see just the, the, the global conflict conflicts all throughout the world. All right. It, it's it's in nation. These nations are really, you know, you know, seeing, you know, who they can be allies with. All right. Because. You know, you have the nations that that are allies with America, but America's looking shaky. So, you know, they they still look so strong to a certain degree, but they're gonna fall just like Rome did when they when they uh, spread their their military too, too thin and amongst other things. But um, but hey, this this war is gonna take place. All right, whether you wanna believe it or not, okay, it's gonna take place. It's gonna take place. In this time, in this lifetime. All right, so um, I don't want to run my mouth too much more. So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. Till next time, I say Shalom.